All right, um, chapter 16, Navy trial, 14801. Cracking. Cracking takes uh, many forms to make popular with the repair of the first to determine the type of the crack. The call of the most common type of the cracks are the alligator edge, edge joint, delaying joint, reflection, shrinkage, and slippage. Alligator cracks are intricate and in the forms uh, forming a series of small block resembling alligator skin or chicken's wire. In most cases, alligator cracking is usually the cause of excessive movement of the surface of the unstable and subgrade. The base core for the unstable the support is resolved as a subsaturated granule bases uh, or subgrade. Normally, they are affected no lo not, and is not large. When it does occur, large scale on the cracking must um, likely due to the repeated loads and uh, above the desired strength of the pavement. Figure 12, 6, um, 16, Edge cracks are longitudinal cracks about approximately one foot from the edge of the pavement at 610. Edge cracks are converse and cracks that are bent back, bracking, branching toward the shoulder. Normally, the edge cracks are caught with a lack of side, but the shoulder support may also be called by settlement, yielding on the base of material underlying with the cracked area. The turning may result in the poor damage of the front, heave, front frost heave shrinkage from drying out of the su surrounding earth. Edge joint cracks. Edge joint cracks are between the pavement and shoulder figure 611. They are normally caught with the alternating wetting of the di drying beneath the surface sh shoulder surface that could result in the form of poor drainage of the shoulder is too high that could result in the depression along the pavement ends. The uh, even pavement edge traps the water on top allowing it to seep into the base. Another would cause the heavy trucks and straddling um, the joint. Lay, lay joint. Lane joint cracks. Lane joint cracks are longitudinal separation along the seam before, um, between two paving lanes. The figure 6, 12, 16, 12. The type of the crack is usually caused by a weak seam or palm, poor bond between the adjoining spread and the pavement. Figure 16, 9 shows alligator cracks. Figure 16 shows edge cracks. And figure 16, 11 shows edge joint cracks. And then 16, 12 shows lane joint cracks. The reflection crack. Reflection cracks are normally occur with the asphalt overlay with the cracks reflect the crack pattern and the maintenance of the structure over the underneath figure 1613. The most frequent and found in asphalt overlays the Portland cement cement the treated base. The reflection cracks are normally caused by vertical horizontal movement in the pavement beneath the overlay resulting in the traffic that loads in temperature and earth movement. Shrinkage. Shrinkage cr um, cracks are interconnected from a series of large blocks, usually sharp corners or angles. 1614. Often difficult to determine the shrinkage cracks are caused by volume change in asphalt mix or in the base the subgrade frequently are they are caused by volume chain and fine aggregated asphalt mixed with a high content high velocity asphalt life the lack of traffic heat has in the shrinkage into the pavement. Slippage cracks. Slippage cracks are crescent-shaped cracks resulting in horizontal force induced by traffic. 1615 they are caused by a long bonding between surface layer and the course of the beneath the long lack of bonding um, do, may do the dust or oil or absence of attack coat. Distortion. Pavement distortion is any change of the flexible movement that results in the subgrade forces for the weakness of the compaction of the material or the compaction or movement of the subgrade soil that has been taken aware of the base compaction has already created. It may be not be um, accompanied by tracking. Be either instance of the create traffic hazard from its water to accumulate eventually makes the wor matters worth. The distortion takes a number of the different forms have normally closed in channel corrugation, shoving and depressions upheaval. Figure 16 shows a reflection crack figure 614 shows shrinkage cracks figure 15 16 15 shows a slippage crack figure 16 16 shows the channel our channeling also referred to the grooving and rutting with a chain cat and carrot channel over the depression developed of the wheel track with the flexible pavement figure 16 16 channeling may be result with the consolidation level of the lateral movement under the traffic of one more of the underlying come courses of the by displacement of the bitumen surface itself developed under the traffic and new the flexible pavement that had too little tra compaction during the construction for plastic and movement in the bank surface that does not have enough stability or support of traffic. Corrugation and shoving. Corrugation, washboarding, or form of the plastic move with the tip divided by the ripples across the flexible pavement form 16, 17. Um, the shoving of the plastic movement over the pavement um, resulted in localized building over the pavement figure 16, 18. Both corrugations normally occurs at the point of the traffic starts and stops on a hill with the vehicle's brake on the downgrade. Corrugation sh um, shoving the, usually over the flexible movement that, um, the mixture's lack of stability. That may result in the too much binding over the too much aggregated to the rough, rough or smooth sounding smooth textured course aggregated. In the case of Multiply cutback asphalt mixes, they must be due to lack of the aeration. Depressions for localized area are limited to size, but they may not or may not be accompanied by cracking. Figure 619 water collection depression that must not surface them on the pavement. The deterioration of the hazards for the motors. Motorist depressions are caused with the traffic heavier than which with the pavement was designed for by construction method of the consolidated deep of the, within the subgrade. Your upheaval is a localized upward displacement of the pavement due to the swelling subgrade in some portion of the pavement structure, figure 620, and it's commonly used the ice expansion from the granular course beneath the pavement or in the... Figure 617 shows corrugation, 618 shows shoving, and 619 shows the depression, 620 shows upheaval. 
Um, subgrade upheaval may also be caused by swelling and effect of the moisture expansive um, soils. Disintegration is the disintegration of the breaking of the pavement into small loose fragments, including the dislodging or aggregated particle. This is not subject to early stage disintegration called the progress until the movement is required for the complete rebuilding, puddle hole, and unraveling are two of the most common types of each early stage of disintegration. Potholes are bolt. Bowl shaped hole with the very size um, of the pavement, the result of the localized disintegration under the traffic 621. They are usually called with the weakness of the pavement, the result of the little, little binder that is in, um, thin and surface that may find the poor damage. All right, um, raveling. Raveling is a progressive loss of surface material weather over the traffic abrasion, figure 622, with usually an aggregated wear of all, all way away first, little leaving, li leaving little pot mark, pock marks in the pavement. With the surface of the end, erosion and continues large particles that even break free with the pavement soon as the rough drag. Jagged experience, typical surface of the exchange, erosion, um, raveling is caused by the poor construction matter of the interfering aggregates, poor design mixed on the line. All right, slippery surfaces. One of the most common causes of slippery, flexible, thin um, film over the water, over the smooth surface that has caused the vehicle to hydroplane. Other causes of slippery surfaces is flexible pavement or bleeding of the polish aggregated. Figure 621 shows potholes. 622 shows raveling. Bleed aggregates and bleeding aggregates. Bleeding is an upward move of the business material and the flexible um, pavement that results in the formation of the film of the basement material and surface. 623, the most common cause of the bleeding is too much asphalt with one or more of the pavement. Layers this usually result in the rich plant mix or prime tack over the youth that is heavy and blading normal occurs in the hot weather. Polish aggregates. Polish aggregates are those that have been smoothed and under traffic. Figure 624 polish aggregates are called by using one type of the aggregated in the pavement mix. Figure 623 bleeding asphalt. Um, 624 polished aggregated pavement pro pavement surface. Um, repairing de defective flexible care over the um, pavement. The care and good joint of the necessary applying with the suitability method of the selecting with the proper materials maintenance for the repairs bit of the surface of the mess of the material with very considerable local the conditions but principle of business work remain the same. The first step of the makes a repair so the determined cause of the failure repair for the must be as start of the failure to reflect removing the deflective flexible pavement. First step of the removing the deflective um, defective areas make it out of the area with what you want to move, move um, mark out the area you want to Move, remove. If you're going to make, um, use the pavement saw, cut the pavement to make your mother marks heavy, easy use. The marks should be made with a waterproof um, material such as paint and crayon, or to pre um, prevent an item from being washed off the saw blade. The shape of the patch is important. If so, if except for the pat um, patch is to be made strong enough to support the traffic, you must have make the marked area square and rectangular in the shape of the two faces of the right angle with the flow of the traffic. By doing this, you will ensure the patch does not shove at the core gate when the traffic flows over the top of it. Pavement cutting after you. Remark, um, after the, you remark the area where you want to remove, you are now ready to make the cuts along the pavement. You can do this using a pavement saw to make it fast and even cut using a pneumatic hammer with a 5-inch asphalt cutting bit. The pneumatic hammer is used to leave leave its edges um, of the pack jagged and make the cuts. Either the tool may sure the patch has square edges in a rectangular shape. This could, uh, this could should uh, also extend at least foot in the good, good pavement. Hard pavement removal. After the outline cuts have been made, you can bring in the breakup of the defective material with the pneumatic hammer and make the, um, break the pavement into the pieces um, can be more re re removed easily by hand. The pieces of the too large front end loader may be required to move. After the pavement has broken up, the pieces can be removed and hauled away. Figure 625. After the pavement has been removed, check the condition of the base course material. When the base course is saturated, water the material should be removed um, until you reach the firm dry so soil. The sides should be vertical and bottom at the level as possible. Or your base core replacement. Uh, if the hole excavated with the clean out loose debris for the hand broom with the hole is wet, but it must be allowed to dry with the hole is deeper than the pavement that should be filled with a dense gray with the aggregated with the fill with the compact two inches lift up with the lower edge of the pavement. The large patch for the compaction can be done with the roller. Small patches must be hand tamped. On large uh, patches, the edges must be hand tamped. The specification may require the compaction and test performed on the base for the cur base course of the primary coat application. Figure 625 shows removing the deflective fixing flexible pavement. After the base course has been compaction, the primary hole with a little asphalt, a little application of asphalt with either can be sprayed or sprayed or bushed on, but rushed on the primary material that may be thin and so they apply lightly. You know the excessive pri um, asphalt prime coat will um, flush into the patch mix, causing the bleed. The final step of the preparation of the hole is to apply the thick coat, tag coat, vertical fa the face is shown in Figure Six Twenty Six. 
All right, bitismus may material replacement. The first step of the replacement of the vaping material materials is often in sufficient quantity for the material complete, but the project hot mix is possible to um, become the stronger and last as much longer. To allow the compaction without using a hot mix, you should overfill the area approximately forty percent of the pavement thickness. You call the mixture is used to spread the rolled air well areas in which each layer is not exceeding one and a half times the maximum aggregated size of the mix. The cold mix is spread to keeping the material and level the possible of preventing segregation, but all that and cold mixes can be um, spread with the greater by paper and by hand, depending on the size of the repair. Compaction bitumen rollers are done with the steel wheel rollers, with pneumatic tire rollers, and a large area with the vibrator tamp with the vibrator patch roller. If the hand tampers are small, area of the compaction is important with the patch operation. The rolling operation hot mix should be being immediately after the material is emit this place. Cold mix must be should be rolled after. Proper aeration of the material edges of the patch should be rolled first. The sealed edge prevent the material from ditching out water from the inflation. The cold mix is used with the parts may have the poor surface, poor surface and require waterproof. This can be done with applied with sand seal with applying thin layer of the Portland cement and tamping it. Obtain smooth ridges and ridging surface of care requires care for the too many patches built with the mountain as a result of the building bumps of the air straight edge must should be also be the guide to the first patch. Finished patch, the patch should be no lower than the first of the pavement. Instead, should be leveled with one eighth of an inch higher than surrounding area. Figure fix 27 shows the steps in patching a pothole. All right, 627 shows the tagging application of vertical faces. 627 shows plat patching a pothole. Show the surface base and the pothole. Clean, trim, rectangular lines, vertical faces. Place the base material compact through it by tamping. Prime the bottom and the paint side with the whole side light gauge grade venomous material. Let dry and become um, becomes tacky. I'll build up three inches or smaller. Lift the compact bitumen premix material. Surface treatments. Surface treatments are as application for the asphalt made uh, material in any type of the brochure with, 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 uh, with or without the cover of the mineral aggregated with the application produced the increase of the thickness, usually less than one inch. Surface treatments have various uses of the waterproof provided with the non skid wearing surface of the rejuvenating and old surfaces. The simplest type of the vitamin surface with them may be split on place over the spread prepared surface that calls the surface treatments. The surface treatments are application for the vitamin material. Any type of the basement to move the um, pavement and the is together with the aggregated cover to produce the pavement the thickness one inch or less. In some cases, the material treatment, multiple treatments have produced thicker and pavement says you. The surface treatments are applied one or more of the following um, purposes. Waterproof the surface to provide wearing so wear for surfacing is um, wear surface to provide certain surface non skid prevent hydroplaning red rejuvenate old wet road and runway make permanent improvements type. Surface treatments may be applied with the base for the new road with the surface of the old road with the main method of repair. Surface treatments are grouped in three categories. Sprayed asphalt, asphalt, and sprayed asphalt with a cor curve of aggregates and asphalt aggregated mixtures. Mixtures. <laughs> Sprayed asphalt surface treatment. The sprayed asphalt treatments cannot be aggregated with a simple application for the different type of the asphalt materials. Prepared surface categories include fog seal, the dusting load, um, laying road, oiling, primary tack coats, and the considered with the sprayed asphalt treatment. A fog seal is a light application for the diluted, slow setting um, asphalt emulsion used in renew old asphalt surfaces. You see small scratch surfaces, voids of the fog seals are especially useful in pavements. Carrying load volume traffic with fog seal also may be used the following. To seal the voids of the new asphalt mix to prevent dust in the sprayed asphalt with a cover aggregated surface retention and tank treatment. Three, to increase the aggregation retention. Four, to provide uniform dark color. All right, the asphalt emulsion is diluted with the equal amount of water diluted material sprayed at the um, rate of application is 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 gallons per square yard, depending on the neighborhood texture of the dryness for the old pavement in normal conditions and separation of evaporation and water is rapidly permitting traffic to within one or two hours. Dust laying. Dust laying consists of sp um, spraying an untreated surface with low viscosity asphalt, such as the SC70, MC30, and MC70, with a diluted cell setting asphalt emulsion. The asphalt dilute and penetration coat with the fine particle temporarily relieve the resistant nuisance of the dust. The material is sprayed with a rate of application 0 0.5 to 0 0.5, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 gallons per square yard. The emulsion is used to be diluted with five or more parts of water to buy volume. Diluted emulsion dust laying the treatment is usually required several applications. The dust stirred by the traffic between the application eventually called in grace and no longer to rise. But the effect for the treatment is very dusty environmental with one application of the asphalt insufficient. Road oiling, road oiling defers the dust laying, uh, laying in those usually accomplished with the part of the land build up low cost road for the over the several years. The, each of the application may be mechanically mixed with the material being treated, but it may be, it may, or may be allowed to penetrate the light oils or road oil, penetrate the subgrade with the end of the repeat, repel moisture absorption. This object of the road oil working is two fours, um, the form of dust wearing surface combined with a strong water repelling subgrade. 
Because the soils are very wide because of the oil and material of the local trail and area, rather than the scientific analysis, the amount of the road oil required for the first year of the work will vary from 0.75 to 1 gallon per square yard. First application is applied at the rate of application, which is about one half of the total succeeding application is made in equal amounts. Rate or Road oiling treatments are played within several weeks apart, depending on the characteristics of the asphalt soil mat. Some make reps occur with the first winter light. Scarifying retreatment over the second year will produce a thicker, stronger surface. Warning, plan, before planning a raid road oil working, your supervisor should check the local authorities concerning environmental protection restrictions. The aggregated surface treatment, the sprayed asphalt with the aggregated cover of the surface with the treatment application, liquid surface file with the application aggregated. This can be done with more layers construction. Two types of sprayed asphalt with the corrugated surface treatments are in today's use. Single and multiple um, surface treatments. Single surface treatments are thin and bitumen or corrugated tops applied with the existing base surface, such as concrete upper asphalt with the construction and apply, involves applying bitumen strap prime or tack over the base surface. Coating is full. Owned by a la- application of the bitumen, um, small size aggregated with some, some single of the treatments are called seal coats because they are sealed surfaces with the road or runway. Sequence operations. Figure 628 show the sequence operation application of the single surface treatment. First step is such as sweeping, priming, tacking, curing, and same with those as applying primary coat. The binder bitumen material is applied over the primary coat with asphalt distributor. The aggregated is let, then spaced over the binder with the, the aggregated spread with the aggregated cover that you spread it uniformly immediately behind the distributor. Assume with the aggregated spread. It is pushed um, to into the soft asphalt rolling of the pneumatic tire roller. Binding application. When you're applying the binder that is hot enough to spray the properly. Or figure 628 shows the sequence of the application on single surface. One, the sweeping. Two, the priming and occurring. Three, the binder application. Five, four, the aggregated application. Five, the rolling. All right, cover the, the surface of the L uniform and the after the um, binder tool of the cure, but that have been aggregated with the tightly to prevent the dislodging of the traffic individual aggregated stone should be um, pressed in the binder that must have, be covered with the binder of approximately one half of the individual aggregated stone that should be expressed and exposed to the traffic the rate of application binder material should be 0.25 to 0.30 gallons per asphalt per square foot. For single treatment, um, single surface treatment, the bitmen must be heated but the ply with the surface will be hot. That's aggregated, aggregated with the must be spread rolled between, before, before the bitmen cools. And under no circumstances in the traffic permitted to travel the uncovered of the fresh bitumen, but the distributor should not only apply the bitumen until the aggregate is on hand ready for the application. The distributor moves forward to spray the asphalt aggregated spread, but it should start with the right over the behind of the bitumen should be covered with one minute than possible. Otherwise, increase the asphalt may prevent the good binding aggregated. Aggregated application the side of the amount of the aggregated the first of the surface and important must save the side of the match bitumen is application of the rate with a single treatment that one half of the sleeve of the seeds number um, four and nine of the aggregated should be 25 to 30 pounds per square yard. When aggregated is distributed properly very little with the hand work is required that longitudinal joints the aggregated is covered and stopped at 8 inches from the edge of the bitumen, uh, bitumen. to ensure the ample overage of the bitumen coat. All bare spots um, should be covered by the hand spreading with the irregularities. Distributing should be corrected with the hand booms. Um, brooms aggregated, aggregated limited areas should be removed immediately with a square point and shovel. The aggregated spread is properly set uh, operated with the hand works is reduced to minimum. All right, rolling. The aggregated roll, uh, aggregated is usually rolled by pneumatic tire rollers. Steel wide rollers are normally recommended by themselves if they should be only one pass, one trip each direction. Rolling operations should be completed with the pneumatic tire roller. Steel wheeled rollers produce the maximum compaction that may be used to care of the prevent excessive crushing aggregated particles. As the roller will bridge in the smaller side of the particles, small depression surfaces will fail to unpress the aggregated in these spaces of that places of the asphalt. Faulty rolling can be eliminated to minimize the adhering the following procedures. One, rolling should be parallel to the center line of the road, pair reduced to the number of the times the roller may change the direction. Cities and passive, they overlap one half the wheel width of the roller. To succeed, um, passes should overlap with a half of the width of the roll over the inch action and ensure the aggregated become of the embedded in the bitmen. Three, rolling should be completed before bitmen harder than ensure the aggregated become of the embedded in the bitmen. Four, succeeding passes should be made from the low side of the high so side of the surface of the operation maintains the surface of the ground and prevents further feathering at the edge. Five, rolling should be done at a slow speed. Six, rollers should be only wet enough to prevent bitmen from sticking to the wheel. Seven, the power wheel of the roller should be passed over the unrolled surface of the four steering wheels of the roller. After the rolling curing, the surface is ready for the trap of the surface. As you the airfield success for the aggregated must sweep on swept from the surface to avoid damage for the aircraft and pr- practice that is required recommended for the roads. Multiple secret surface treatment. The multiple surface treatment is essentially the same with the single surface treatment. However, the multiple surface treatment that consists of the two more successful the layer is binding or aggregated. The type of the treatment that's downstairs each day is accomplished the same manner. The single surface of the treatment, the only difference is each of the additional layer aggregated should be also about one half the size of the previous layer that allows the smaller aggregated inner look of the layer aggregated will be rolled. 
Alright, paving equipment. Equipment that you for the asphalt pavement, the construction of aggregated spreaders, the aggregated distributor, they're associated with the hand spray, spray bars, and asphalt kettles, and asphalt haul trucks, and asphalt pavers. Aggregated spreaders, spreaders with the operative, with the properly with that will be conserved. The aggregated produce the uniform spread speeders, spreaders are arranged with the typical attached to the truck tailgate, to, two highly efficient self propelled machines. Several type of the tailgaters are you, um, tailgate spreaders are even today. The simplest is, is the vein spreader 629. The tailgate spreaders are considered for the hopper, the feed roll with attached and field. Um, small wheels driven in contact with the trucks with wheel figure 630 mechanical spreaders so hoppers for the, the hook and the prop of the backing the aggregated the trucks however the hoppers are various widths for the capacity they usually contain aggregates to, augers to distribute the aggregated full width of the box having control of the relate that feed gauge the fluid roll out uh, augers and truck hits they allow the tailgate the mechanical spreader for the push in the truck the disadvantage of the truck must be operative in the reverse with the consequence loss of steering control and reduction of the speed figure 629 shows the vein spreader and 620 630 shows the hopper style um, tailgate spreader. Or your self propelled spreader that's shown in figure 631. The main the machine moves forward and makes it possible to uniform continuous application of the cover aggregated because they're capable of keeping the, um, up with the asphalt. The distributor the speed with the self powered with the um, you have the receiving the hopper in the area. Aggregated trucks are basically them properly. Heads to the spread and dump with the loads in the hopper that are properly spread with the bolt, bolt and belt and conveyors. Um, carry the aggregated front of the machine where it's dropped and spreading in the hopper. Figure 632 that aggregates the flow of the speed roll onto the screen with the permits initial placement of the large particles on the asphalt followed by a fine aggregate. Aggregated on the top. Calibration adjustment of all types of aggregated spreaders should be according with the manufacturing instruction operating manual. There are some additional check for that may be to ensure with a good result. Tackle meter you the A to maintain the uniform spreader box and is helpful. Two, the distribution rates are closely controlled with the measuring of the length that each of the truck load aggregated should cover. Um, three, quick check with the rate of application when the aggregated can be made with laying one square per yard, um, meter per yard with the servant section cloth or building a paper of the pavement and with the motor support uh, showing a one square yard above the asphalt and nails and screws and passing it over with the spreader and the cloth of the paper of the box is then carefully. Figure 631 shows a self-propelled aggregated spreader. Figure 632 shows a flow aggregated self-propelled self -propelled aggregator spreader. Lifted aggregated over the weight. This will give it the weight per square yard aggregated being spread. Asphalt distributor. After all, distributor 633 is a unit that consists of the with the stroke and storage heading heating tank of the open flames heating system. Asphalt pump at the low pressure for the boiler circulating spraying in the system. Poor ap operator component of the PTO driven. No, the operation on the truck requires the absolute need for the experienced person. I only miss the result of lost man days. Um, equipment as a direct the result of the factors being overlooked. Heating system. The air below the pressure provide, provides low pressure for the atomizing of the fuel tank. Um, fuel for burning the burners are held to the and located within the tank. The asphalt covering that must be maintained over the fire tube to prevent overheating with the cover of the fire explosion. Because cover of the distributor is mobile, care must be taken to ensure the heating is performed with the level of the area is a well ventilated area. The distributor truck is not moving at all at a complete halt. Whenever you are heating the cutbacks, the asphalt must be circulating at all times. This must prevent the chance for the volatile liquids overheating around the fluids, which can vary dangerously. Spray system um, spray system consists of the necessary piping um, piping uh, squares here is a hand operative valve to control the flow of the bitumen and adjust the length of the spray bar with the capable of providing coverage of fourteen four to fourteen feet wide. The spray may be used the first circular full circulating, non circulating type. Depending on the model of the distributor, the spray bar is equipped with the either one eighth of an inch nozzle, three eighths of an inch nozzles, one eighth of an inch nozzles are used the most application the application rate may be the length of the spray bar when the pump out and the forward speed of the distribution distributor truck. All right, spray bar adjustments. For normal use, the spray bar adjustment distri um, distributor should be adjusted for the vertical axis of the nozzle perpendicular to the road rate. Also, in each nozzle on the spray bar should be set with the angle of the angle of the set with each should be between 15 to 30 degrees. The horizontal axis for the spray bar, figure 634. According to the manufacturer's specification, the action prevents the fan-shaped spray material patterns of the nozzle from interfere with each other. Another adjustment is the sensible uniform primary tack cover to the adjustment over the height of the spray bar, shown figure 635, with the fine spray sure pattern of the nozzle overlap with a different degree of but depending on the distance between the spray bar and the surface of the cover, the spray bar should be high enough to usually 10 to 12 inches above the roadway with the surface of retrieving triple coverage. And the height of the rate, rate varies according to the nozzle spacing on the spray bar under the using heavy condition depending on the nozzle spray between the nurse and um, necessary lower bar farther down the surface will only receive double coverage. Our figure 633 shows the asphalt distributor, the baffle plate with the pump driver, pump driven pump, the valve control burners and spray bar, and bitumous wheel. Or flues, okay. Figure 634 shows a proper angling nozzle, nozzle angling settings. Spray bar axis. 
All right, on some of the trip, the asphalt spray with the below the light, and if the truck re um, rear spring with the truck rides, raising the distributor, could change the height of the spray bar. Mechanical use of the device is usually available. Automatically correct the height of the spray bar and change the uniform app uh, application of the asphalt prime of the tag, which is core essential for the traps and transverse spread. Um, should not be allowed to vary more than 15% of the longitudinal spread. Should not vary more than 10% of the ensure the correct application. You must calibrate the distribution. Distributor board is usually the engine of the transverse longitudinal spread variations. Uh, rate variations should be checked with the periodically determine when the distributor will operate. These limits. A procedure check on the speed variations in the field that has been standardized. The AS American Standard Testing Method Material D2995 published in the American Testing, Testing Society Testing Materials. Our right, fill tanks and distribution always use the main holes training with a fill tank with a distributor unless they are filling with a emulsion. Why do you, when when you do not want material to enter the pump circulating, then ensure the intake valve lever is in the up position when the tank is full and hot. A minimum there may be set under the entire cold pump that you should heat the bump and pump and circulate circulate the system before starting the circuit. Bitumen preventing the freezing in the pump. The portable burner is available to you for the pump if the pump is cold. All right, when you're filling lines, you have the pump always strain with the filling lines except for the mold station. Be sure of the connections between the distributor and source of supply are a little. Be sure the little leaks reduce, reduce the vacuum, slow down the heavier bitumens, and maybe. Or right, 6 to 35 so spray bar height, height, height and coverage. Bitumen uh, incorrect spray bar height. Correct spray bar height, double coverage. All right, correct spray bar height, triple coverage. 3 by 2 height. All right. Let's start a preheat circuit, uh, circulating the system and ensure the first material entering the pump does not chill the position to stop pump. The portable burner is available for the purpose of the opening of the circuiting, circulating system and housing on the rear of the near the bottom of the uh over the housing provided with the burner. Normally 1,500 gallons per minute is the best load spray of lighting material, having the material with the spraying temperature may be loaded with the faster pump sped. Speed check on the filling of the line of the pump with the discharge strainer periodically as clean as needed with the distributors to be filled with a hot bit of minimum to reduce the cautiously. If there's any moisture on the tank of the emulsion you for the previous load that caused the forming, foaming could occur with a liquid, a liquid compound dough and corning DC 200 can be used to prevent forming. Foaming. Our right, heating bitumen in the distributor. When heating the bitumen in the distributor, bitumen in, bitumen in a low pressure atomizing burner, use the clean, moisture free fuel. It's important that you use the kerosene fuel, oil, diesel fuel. Do not use gasoline to the start of the blow of the disengaged engine clutch. Engage the blower driver in the engine clutch. Air pressure should be sufficient to raise the air relief valve with slightly excessive engine speed will raise the relief valve too much to correct air pressure or not. To, um, to exceed, to um, correct air pressure is to use 1.5 to 2 psi. Fuel pressure should not exceed the high fuel with the pressure making them need the valve to make adjustment more than sensitive. The correct fuel pressure is 10 to 20 psi. The pressure to determine the relief valve located with the under the fuel tank adjusting the screw lockout nut on the inside of the dome shaped cap. Do not lift the burners unless the, and light the burners use it unless you are as sure that the flues are covered with a 6 inch material full length of the tank on the tanks for having high and low fuses. Flues, it's necessary to cover the low fuel with using lower for the burner open and sack cover. All right, lighting burners should be turned on the air, air, air butterfly with the uh, valve starting position. Light the torch and hold the end of the bur burner tip. The turn valve is about one half turn. The burner should be in in ignited immediately. If it does not turn off the needle valve, wait until the gas exhausted from the fuel. Try again. The correct amount of the turn of the needle valve is determined with the fuel depression pressure of experience only with it can determine the correct amount of the particular unit. At first, the flame with will be yellow and smoky. Adjust the fuel valve with the flame with the right orange and slightly cover the exhaust um, its color and the exhaust. Make adjust the fuel with the need of the fuel and um, flues and tank contains the contents of the fuel heat up, heat up. Warning: The burner goes out. You should turn the off fuel valve immediately and do not attempt to relight until the gas vapors are exhausted from the flues. For large flames, then increase the air butterfly valve with opening the fuel valve opening in equal increments. Apply always keep the mix and produce the equal exhaust that has uh, that has um, slight color, the color of the nozzle burning with adjusting with the amount of the secondary air desired light burning to turn the nozzle until the secure of the type of the file. Flame, you desire further adjustment is not necessary. Do not leave the burners unattended. Do not heat the temperature or the maximum spraying temperature for men. Men by suppliers shut off the valve of the burners, turn off the fuel of before stopping the blowing and turning off the spray. 
Spraying correcting the spray cannot be obtained unless the bitumen is heated with the proper spraying, spraying temperature with the one eighth of an inch nozzle set with the governor at 100 to 120 to 180 gallons per minute for a 12 foot spray bar with the Navy Construction Forces rule of thumb gallons per minute is 10 gallons per minute every foot before bar length example 10 foot bar length 10 foot 10 foot gallons per minute high bump speed and pump speeds are excessive for fogging of the spray low pump speeds are called the bitumen spray fan and shown in figure 633 the sag of the heavy the edges also the fans heavy edges the cause could be caught um, could it be material too cold and pump speed is too slow at the end of the day be sure to flush out the pump with the circulating pump system pump performing easy draining to um cleanings operation prevent the pump with the circulating system from the clogging up between the bedimum setting up and the hardening in the system Attachments. Some um, areas can, uh, cannot be reached with the spray bar, therefore sometimes necessary to apply asphalt by another means. In some cases, spraying can be done with a high-end spray hose and gun is shown in figure 613. The equipment must be operated with the following instructions given in the instruction manual. Suggested spraying temperature. Suggested spraying temperature given in table 613 for the various type of the guy raised asphalt commonly used for the primary coating tack coating. Warning application temperature in some of the cases of both flash points of some materials care, um, care must be taken to prevent explosion. Maximum tension for the cutback asphalt should be in which the fogging occurs because below the formula is used the distributor. Distributor truck operation. Compute the gallons per minute. The gallon per minute equals length times the bar width times the rate of application times divided by 9. 613 shows the adjusted spraying temperature for the primary tack coat. SS1, 70 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. MC30, 85 degrees Fahrenheit plus. MC70, 120 degrees Fahrenheit plus. MC250, 160, 160 degrees Fahrenheit um, plus. 16 hand spraying application hand spraying gun valve left to the left of the turn open to compute the um, track of the application of speed of the foot feet per minute the feet per minute is equal to nine times the gallon per minute over the bar width times the rate of application complete the track application speed and bar of the miles per hour width t- equals nine times the gallon per minute times 88 bar width times the rate of application complete the length of the spread in the feet well is the length of the spread in feet two is the total number t is the total number of the gallons and distributor w is the spray width the roadway roa is the rate of application gallons per square yard are your asphalt kettles shown in 1637 that's equipped with a handspray bitumen material dressing stretches of the road and roadway shoulders filling the strip of the cracks and spray coated areas and asphalt repair sub treatment and sealing coat. The tra- trailer mounted the tank and tanks considered the outer shell with a 165 gallon capacity um, storage and melting tank. Trigger 1637 shows the asphalt kettle. Mounted inside, removal of the fuel bearer, mounted with the inside of the kettle, outer shell to provide with the heat and melting tank with the baffle. The fuel slack is located with the forward end of the melting tank over the top of the baffle. The burner suddenly provides escape with the exhaust gas of the thermostat and serves with the insulated, insulated pipe of the interior of the melting tanks and include the temperature reading of the bitumen material being heated with the bitumen material is overheated the fire explosion can result. All right, two-cylinder gasoline engine provides more of the um, power of the bitumen's pumping system. Shift, shift the cl- clutch and shifting lever of the engine is engaged with the pumping assembly. Provides pressure for the all the pumping operation. Flexible metal spray, which is connected with the pump of the hand-held spray assembly, used to convey bitumen to the surface to be repaired. Safety precautions. Safety precautions for the distributor truck with the asphalt kettle operations follows. Always have the dry chemical type of the ca- um, dry chemical type extinguisher available in good condition. Check all the uh, body with mountings on tie downs, fasteners, trailer units using the campaign fat pipe fat plate. Fastener, salt, suppression, suspension, running gears, component light, and lit cigarettes or other surfaces of the combustion must be clear of the open main holes over the flow of the lens to reduce fire has Spark from engines exhaust can be um, be for be for the ignition of vial gases. Replace the clear of the rotating devices, rotating drivers when the unit is operational, preventing the becoming entangled in the machine. Use goggles and gloves, insulated material when handling spray bar section hoses and prevents bar- burns. A monthly check it is necessary to clean the three inch overflow t- tube and ensure the tube is not is not clogged. Alright, open the manhole slowly to relieve any pressure that may exist in the tank. Check with the ensure that all pipe and the hose connection is screwed before operating the valve with eliminating checks until they spray the hot bottom and oil and the other person and keep them until the clean and soft operation. Safety operation. Keep areas clean with open flame spark to reduce the fire hazard for the when you're playing with the metal volatile cutbacks. Do not stand with the location within the accidental opening of spray bar valves that will cover the contact with a bit of spray. This is important because you will receive severe burns if you don't. Fill the line cap connection must be securely attached by operating the intake lever with eliminating the monetary discharge. The TUC bar must be off and remain off if the bar is rotated upward. 
When moisture presents in the tank, do not overload the tank with a material having to over temperature over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, the preventing of the foaming filling with the unit with the moisture prevent, may be present with the spray bar. The circulating system should allow the small portion of the hot material to circulate in the spray bar before filling the tank. When using a heating material, if always possible, the bro um, broad side of the wind, wind use the gas line insert with the, instead of the regular kerosene fuel oil, low pressure powers with the result in extreme fire hazards. Do not operate the burners unintended unless the safety control is provided while the vehicle is transient in the confined areas. When heating, you must also use, allow sufficient space for the tank of expansion material. To prevent um, possible expulsion, explosion, you must cover the flues with at least 6 inches of the bitumen before heating the material layer of the bitumen, reduce the vapors, produce reducers. Produced thereby reducing the chance of the explosion. For safety and personal safety, use the torch, not a match, lighter, or ignition of the, uh, to ignite the burner. Ignite the inside of the burner first. Do not reach the crop of the lighter burner and to ignite the inside of the burner. When the burner goes out, allow time to ventilation before reignition. Do not heat the material beyond the manufacturer's recommended temperature. When you're heating and spraying, the hold this rare in the proper position. Be aware of the personal in the area. Multiplied asphalt should never be left in the distributor truck at any great length of time. And multiplied asphalt will separate and set in much of the time and then will, cut, um, when the, then will cut backs. Avoid inhaling vapor to miss with the spray to asphalt prolonged skin contact. Asphalt products, asphalt metrotics maintain the compounds known as suspected cause of the cancer. The hot asphalt is a bum has to cause the serious eye damage. Asphalt haul trucks. Various types of the trucks are used to deliver the hot mix and pay with the most common type of the five ton end dump truck by other trucks that has been used that can be used to deliver a mix. Truck condition. Trucks must be have metal beds, but the metals mu beds must be clean, smooth, and free of the holes. All trucks must be minimal and safety critical. Each car must be clearly numbered. Easy identification must be equipped with a tarpaulin before floating. The truck bed must be clean with the foreign material hardened asphalt. The little of the coated release agent. Lubricant is safe for the preventing of the fresh hot mix of asphalt sticking into the surface of the bed. After the bed is coated, the excess of the release again must be drained from the bed before holding the truck must be weighed and established on load. Weight, the weight of the later is subtracted with the loaded weight from the truck to determine the weight of the hot mix and the truck is the truck is hauling. The number of the trucks required on the project is determined in the manufacturer, the mix of the production rate at the plant, the length of the haul, the type of the traffic and encounter with the expense, the time needed for unloading. Type of the trucks, each type of the truck, you with the hot mix delivery has a certain physical feature that required for the um, haul of the property with the discharge mix properly and properly pay into the pavement because they are listed in few guidelines. Two most common types of the trucks, end dump truck, the end dump truck that must be first inspected a certain rear of the bed with overhang. The rear wheels will clean off the discharge mix the paver hopper does not operate apron side plate that must be added to increase the overhang of the prevent spillage in the mix of the front paver. Or the bed must also be side of the wheel fit within the hopper pressing down on the paver. The um, hydraulic system of the truck bed um, hoist with should be frequently inspected by the guard against the hydraulic fluid with the leakage of such leak with the road face surface to prevent good help bonding between the roadway. The new mat with when an oil and enough spill with the mix can absorb it in, in, in the mix can become unstable at the spot and for this reason Leaking, leaving the truck should be not used. The tarpaulin should be pulled over the mixture during the cold weather and the long haul to protect the mixture excessive cooling. The cool mix for the four lumps that cross over the, if the surface of the um, tarpaulin, you have to carry the bones taking to be sure the circularly fastened on the top of the truck bed. The gold air cannot be flown under it. All right, dumping um, during driver. The driver must directly truck the squarely against the pavement. It should be the truck with a few inches of the pavement before the truck tires may contact the paver roller bar. The backing, backing the truck again for the paver can be reinforced be forced from the screen, building it back into the mat, leaving the pump the pavement even after the mat is rolled. Uh, the truck bed must be raised slowly when the bed can make sure the dump is rapidly segregation the curve that may be, of course, aggregates up or the roll side of the load. All right, your bottom dump trucks. Bottom dump trucks can be used with the greater with the spreading with the mix and with the pickup the device is used to hold the feet and withdraw with the truck of the paver hopper. The two common methods of unloading bottom dump trucks is used. The first method involves the use of the spreader box designed to operate with the under the gates of the truck. The amount of the material placed in the windrow governed with the width of the spreader box opening. The disadvantage of the method is the spreader box can restrict the amount of the material left of the required amount. The second method, which is used with more than the first, is used with the chain for the control of the dump gate opening. No, the automatic device are available with the controlling gate opening various the side of the window with the spot at the bottom of the dump truck and pick up the room from the paper. The regular issue of the materials in place in the clear the variation amount of the material with the paved hopper. They often um, carry call it the variations of the finished surface, but there's they're essential for the inside.
essential for the, that the windrow is deposited with the truck uniform possibility windrow is deficient side of the material added to the keep the paper from the shade of starving with the windrow can contain too much mix a short gap that is deposited in the next truck compensate the excess of the windrow windrow length of the should also control control the way particularly cool um weather windrow material with the kind of cool um, below the spread of the compaction temperature of the cold weather particular when delays occur with the because of the paper the malfunction the lift of the limit of the windrow should be no more than one truck below load ahead pick up machine to prevent excess for the cooling and the mixing of the cold weather when the loader and paper are directly coupled with the vibra- vibration of the picking of the device may be transmitted into the paper that causes the ripples and the roughness of the some mass surface the vibration generally result in the worn the parts for the improper mounting over the adjustment. All right, your truck hitch. The purpose of the truck hitch on the front of the paper the, um, the hopper is to keep the truck dumping the hot mix into the hopper in contact with, with the paper during the dumping of the truck and the paper, and paper to separate the hot mix spills. It must be cleaned up before the pad ever passes over. The type of the truck's hitch for the common youth. One type of the youth extension from the reach of the truck and the hook's rear axle of the truck. The other type of the hitch is the retractable rollers that they are attached for the truck bush bar and then grip the outside of the rear wheels of the truck. The rollers resolve, revolve the wheels while the truck dumps its load on the hopper. Pivot the truck roller push push rollers. The pivoted push rollers um, rollers is a, ba- is a device mounted in the front of the paper that adjusts the alignment between the truck and the paper to even this device is to reduce the uneven force exerted in the pavement of the misaligned truck minimizing the interference with the steering both vehicles. Asphalt finishers and paper. The various makes them out with the asphalt finisher of the Navy Construction Board. Two types are shown in Figure 638. Even though the finishers are operated differently, the primary job is the same. The receiving the asphalt spreading of it is determined at a uniform length with thickness of shape. The finisher also provided the initial compaction of the mat layer with the mixture of the pay in pay place. Because asphalt finishers are different, you must always read the operator's bank manual of the, unit, of the operating good to have the practice stand laid down before actually even the hot mix. This is to familiarize yourself with the other machines and also ensure the proper where machine is working properly. Figure 639 shows the practical lay down um, using the should be aggregated asphalt mixture. Figure 638 shows the two common types of asphalt finishers the SAE, SA32, so SA35T and the Lee Boy 900T. Um, 639 shows the practical laydown tractor power unit. Our tractor unit provides moving power with a pay- paper wheel with the tractor. All through all powered machinery on the tractor with the tractor, including the receiving the hop of the feed um, conveyor, the flow control gates, distributing algorithm, the spread screw to the lower p- power plant engine, the transmission dual control operator seat, the tractor's upper uh, unit, upper power plant engine provides the paper, the bowl, the screw, and screen, and the level unit provides the power of the components of the transmission hot mix that is deposited, hopper, and then carried to the feed conveyor with the flow of the control gates, distributing algorithm, spreading screw with the algorithm, distributed mix evenly across the full width of the paper, to providing unit. Uniform placement of the mix until the road surface is surface. The operation are controlled with the paving operator, meaning with the dual controls within each for each operator's seat. The figure 640 and um, 1640 show the operating control with the type of the finisher you with the Navy Construction Force. Ensure the paper can function with properly. You should inspect with the pavement before enhancement of the pavement below are some of the operator components you should check. All right, paper tire track from the paper that is equipped with the pneumatic tire with the tire condition the pressure be checked with the particular important with the pressure with the same tire with the both side of the paper the paper makes them move makes moves on the track called scholars track track should be checked with them to be certain that they're snug and about but but not too tight the drive rockets should be checked with excessive wear low air pressure the tire pressure loose track can cover the necessary movement over the paper paper the transmit with the screen unit resolving an uneven pavement surface there should be no build up of material on the tires or tracks um co-governors governors on the engine must also be checked to be ensured that there's no periodic surge in the engine rpm when the governor is not properly working they can lag in the proper power when the engine is t- loaded and hauled the train such lag causes the temporary failure to vibrate a tamping bars and screwed unit resulting in stretching pavement less dense uh, lesser dense Contain slightly material immediately adjacent to the path of the rolling through uh, see that area that shows the transverse ripple and pavement and the power lag can interfere with the smooth and consistent constant is not operational electronic see um screen controls. Are your operating control for the Barber Green model SA35? Thickness control, tapper level, screen hoist level, the control con- uh, control crown control, tamper level, thick um, thickness control, brake lock, feeder screw, co- co- um, conveyor pedals, um, brake lock, um, tender screw, conveyor clutch, spree- steering uh, steering levers, master clutch, reverse and forward reverse the lever, manual transmission shifter level, leveling arms supporting locking brake auxiliary control system, master control system, steering levers, master control clutch, um, forward reverse lever, secondary um, transmission. Level. Ever. 
All right, contains slightly missed material immediately adjacent to the low after the rolling. You can see with the show of the transverse ripple in the pavement that the power lag can interfere with the smooth and convincing operational electrical CPC screen controls. Hopper and flow gates and augers. Hopper um, fla um, slats or feet are conveyor with the flow flow gates for the augers should be become checked with the excessive wear with the observer the concern and operation properly never adjust that should be made to ensure the components of the function as designed to be able to derive the smooth flow with the mixture of the hot from the hopper to the roadway. This includes the adjustment of automatic feed controls. Speed conveyor opening with the control gates the back of the hopper should be adjusted to just enough the mixture and long, just enough to make sure to be delivered. The augers keep the augers operating at 85% of the time and allows the uniform quantity of the mix to maintain with the flow of the screen. The additional mix is required to allow the increase of the thickness between the plate flow control gates should be adjusted. The augers should be kept at the three quarters full of the mixture during paving operations. Are your screed operation and operation with the screed pulled along behind the track of the force for the long screed pulled arms are pivoted with the permanent screed for the floating action with the permanent travel along the road. The tractor unit pulls the screed the, into the mix of screed so you seek the level to allow the path of the screed to parallel in the direction of the pull. The, the less level of all forces action with the screed are living balance the paper move the does up down on the road. The screed or plate iron surface of the mixture leaving the path mat thickness and the depth of the conform to the job specification mat thickness ground shape are regulated by a screed controls tamping bar six, six fit forty one in vibrating Attachment compact and mightly may have slightly preparation figure 642 show the workings of the screen. Attach proper mat thickness for the, and the material balancing the force in figure 642 with one another to maintain the forward motion of the screen force. The P must be greater than force A. A is to increase the thickness of the mat till the screen is more material curve with the under the screen plate. The screen will raise until the finished surface again, playing parallel direction of the pull. Figure 641 shows the tamping bar 1 8 of an inch, 1 8 of an inch tamping bar, maintenance for clearance 0 15th of an inch, and 0 18th in the screen. R642 right, shows the force ag acting on the screed. Um, screed and V is the uh, vertical resistance screed plate. H is the horizontal resistance screed plate. W is the wave of the screed unit. Lifting arm and a hinge pin. All right, force V will decrease the point with the balance of the force W to reduce the um, mat thickness to take the screed plate with less of the more material crowded within the screed plate, plate. The amount of condition of the material level on the auger can change with the equal equilibrium for force of the excess of the flow material to increase the H and A cold fixture mixture will increase H to some extent V and excess of hot liquid fluid will mix decrease H V and stop in the starting paper that also change the equilibrium among the forces. The key controlling action of the screed is to maintain a uniform um, those forces against the, acting on the screed. Five. The secret good. Um, the secret of good paper operation is balance with the force uniformity. Um, uniformity of maintenance for the balance. The balance uniformity is attained with the screw of the path of the form of the paper of the plane which you parallel to that of the pivot point of the paper that goes over the irregularity pivot and pivot, pivot points. The screw begins with the rise over the allows the however the pivot goes over the screw reacts and change the elevation more slowly. The pivot pin does the screw rise with very little thereby maintain with the plane with the surface of the mat over irregularity. The impact regularity is reduced the same. It's not true with long irregularities longer than several lengths. For the paper, grade line irregularities type the or can be corrected placing the surface in the player in the paper. All right, spreaders. Um, spreader uh, screeds equipped with the tamping bar vibrator mechanism to design and strike off the compact mixture of um, slightly displaced in two parts. Um, two purpose of screed action is to achieve the maximum level of the matting surface to ensure the maximum distance of the matting surface occurs with the subsequent rolling. Our tamping bars on type of the screed. The tamping bar types on screed compactors compacted, mixing the striking off the excessive thickness stuck the material under the screed plate for the leveling. Figure 641 shows the tamper bar as the two faces of the bevel face for the front of the compact material screed on the pull forward. Our horizontal face for the impact with some of the compaction primarily strikes off the excessive material in the screed cutting right smoothly over the mat being laid. The adjustment of the limits of range downward of the treble tamping bar and single most important adjusting effect of the appearance of the finished mat at the bottom of the stroke of the horizontal face should be extend with the six four um fourth of the one inch for the thickness of the finger nail with the below the level of the screen um play with the bars extend with the two far the mixing bill with the screen face for the building of the screen, um scuffs of the surface of the mix of the scuff and being placed in the causes tamping bar to lift the screen slightly with each of the downward stroke this is often called the rippling of the mat surface. When horizontal face of the tamping bar is adjusted too high, either poor adjustment due to the wear of the bottom of the horizontal face of the bar, on bar does not strike an excessive mix from the mat. With consequently, the um, skid plate begins to strike off the material. This results in the screen surface impeding with the mixing with the place and being placed to cover the leading, leading edge of the screen plate directly largely aggregated forward. For this reason, the tamper bar should be always checked before operating the paper. This should be adjusted in after before the tamper bar approaches the knife edge thickness. It should be replaced. 
are vibrating type of screen, but the operation of vibrating type uh, vibrating screeds are similar to that of the tamping screeds. Screeds, except for the competitive compacted force, is generated with either the electrical vibrators rotating shaft with eccentric weights and hydraulic motors. Figure 643. On some of the paper, the frequency and number of the vibration permanent with the amplitude range of the motion vibrator uh, can be adjusted. On other frequencies, remains constant, but only amplitude can be adjusted. The frequency and amplitude must be set according to the type of the paper, thickness of the mat, with the spread of the paper, the characteristics of the mixture being placed. One set of the frequency and amplitude do not normally need adjustment until the man thickness mixes, mixture makes characteristic change. Figure 643 show the vibrator type screed. Some vibrator screeds um, require pre scrape and uh, strike alpha unit with a unit um, rounded with a mold board that controls the amount of the mixing and pass um, passing under the screed. All right, screed control adjustments. Operating screed two types of controls: the sense with the control of the thickness of the mat, the control of the crown found on the mat with the proper drain of the pump will function regulate with the controls built on the paper. The six forty four. It is important to understand that when the paper that is operating over the control adjustment made, the screed would take up the time to get in effect. For example, when the thickness control is adjusted to change the thickness of the mat, the paper is likely to move distance several feet before the changing of the complete of the mat is produced with a new thickness. For this reason, the necessary screed operator known the effective daily um, delay involved with the banking the adjustment of the particular screed, the unit be able to add anticipate adjustment screening accordingly. Furthermore, the important to after the screen adjustment the thickness of the control paper to allow it to travel through them far enough for the correction completed before the Another attachment, another adjustment is made, and another excessive adjustment for the over the control thickness control is one of the principal contributors to poor pavement smoothness. The conditional screening unit is important to the high quality of the mat with the display for the ensure the screen uh, control linkage of the snug and the operator should be checked with the wear of the point. Screen plate should be checked with the regular signs of the wear, there, such as pitting and warping. The plate should also be um, always be properly adjusted. The paving pin begins with the before leading and then trailing link edge of the screen. Have the crown adjustment. The leading edge should always use the slab slightly more crown than the trailing edge that provides a smoother flow of the rate right under the screen. There's too much leave in the crown may result in the open, open extract texture along the edges. Our right, figure 644 show the mat thickness crown controls. All right, show the direction of travel. Um, the spread screw the finishing pavement of the crown control. The direction of travel. Independent operated bar feeders, rim roller, push bar, push truck um, tires. All right, from the left, the um, thickness of the control. Um, from the sorry, from the right, the thickness control finish pavement and the screeds conveyor defector plate pivot crawler receiving hopper hot asphalt adjustable gates. All right. The man and two little um, resolve of the open structure, um, straight texture of the the trailing edges you actually say with the crown. The crown adjustments may be made independently simultaneously with the paving operations. Automatic screed control. The seed controls must be adjusted with the screed operator with the paving product. With the automatic seed controls are designed to adjust the automatically play uniform mat with the desired thickness from the grade shape figure 645. Type of operating principles. Automatic screed control for the use of the several different ways. Be, but all automatic screed control operations requires a reference system for the automatic system. The power of the reference system will be based on which of the asphalt hot mix is put in place. Laying next to the material having being placed in the string line. When the string line is used as a reference, the automatic control will be follow the height with the string line exactly so that the mat conforms, therefore placing the string line or other reference must be precise. Automatic screen controls follow the traveling reference for the system traveling reference such as the ski, ski attached for the control arm not to change the base of the katan towards just the screen automatically and compensate. A string line tra um, traveling refer reference system allows the automatic control of the adjusting heat with the necessary to maintain proper longitudinal lengthwise grade rate of the pavement. Automatic heat controls due to the screed system and attached with the beam running between the two screeds pole arms to maintain proper transverse width, width wise grade. A pendulum slope control housing, housing move with the side to side chain with the transverse grade with the roadway triggering necessary adjustments in the slope mechanism. Automatic control systems have several advantages. Manual control screeds um, over manual control screeds. Some of the advantages are as follows. The automatic controls compensate with the chain for the guys to slope more quickly than the screed operator. Automatic control helps associate the screed with the erratic vertical movement of the tractor unit. Automatic controls unit adjust screed to the points and enable the screed to follow the parallel path parallel to the grade and slope reference system that may be different with the path lane with the tractor unit. Our right, 645 shows the track, automatic screed surface with a hot asphalt transfer and transverse beam, lower arm slope control, hydraulic arm toe point, hydraulic arm toe point, leveling arm, grade, um, Grade control sensor, grade referencer. 
All right, selecting a reference system. The two type of the reference system station and traveling with the automatic screen control depending on the following factor. The condition of the surface of the mat is to be the um, place, the degree of the precision required with the grade, the slope of the finished pavement, the thickness of the mat, the amount of the material available to the production project. When the surface of the mat is to be played with a good longitudinal grade along the center of the line, the unsatisfactory transverse grade of the traveling range fits from running along the center line, be you with the effect of the provide the desired mat thickness for the center line transverse slope center. You still establish outline outside grade of the longitudinal grade is erratic with string line will be placed in Ensure the proper longitudinal grade existing surface for that is good profile. Both longitudinal and transversely automatic screen control the must be may, may be unnecessary when the self availability of the screen may be sufficient. The automatic controls you the traveling reference system should be adequate. Are right, your screen heater? The screen is equipped with the heater the use of the heat the screen with the start with the each of the new paving operation. The heaters are not used not, uh, not to be used the heat with the mix during the paving operation. If the screen is not initially in heated, they will mix, not mix the tear. Texture will open the course of the will be found with the mixture with the cocoa. The times where the paver operator allows the mix to heat the screen plate, the practice amount will always result in the section of the unsatisfactory pavement being laid with the screen being heated. Screen accessory. The types of uh, there are three types of screens commonly used with the screen accessory. Screen extensions, cut off sheets, and bevel ended plates. Screen extension. Screen extension. Figure six forty five, or sorry, sixteen forty six. Attachments went in, wind in, wind, went wide in the screen, allowing the paper to place the wider than the normal mat on some. Figure 646 says the screen extension accessories, the adjusting screw back of the screw, screen, the screen, its extension, the screen how heater and cover, heat end plate, the quick lock fasteners, tamper extension, feed screw, end up cup, using them when the extension is not used, the flexor extension, and the screw extension, usually one of the insulation two feet extensions. Molds and screw extension make it possible to um, width of the 24 feet in single pass. All right, cutoff shoes. Cutoff shoes. Figure six forty-seven. Or they have been opposite function of the screen extension. They are metal. Um, they are metal plates and serve the screen to reduce the width of the mat being placed. Bevel ends. Bevel end plates are six forty-eight. They are used the edge of the mat. Um, on some models, the shoe that set any other three position vertical thirty and forty degree five degrees. Tons per hour. The equation used to compute the amount of the asphalt being laid per paved per hour is shown as following: total hour per hour is equal length times width times um, distance. Um, length times width times depth at times 146 divided by 20, 2,000 times 600. Where L is the length of the feet in the Navy construction, 4 to 11 feet per minute with the planning purpose of W, the width of the paved screen for the D, and the depth of the thickness of the compact mat, 146 number that represents the approximate weight of 1 cubic foot with a compacted hot max full mix, 60 minutes in 1 hour, 2,000 pounds in 1 ton. For example, the required tonnage for the hot mixture of asphalt with the 800 tons of speed paver is set with a 10 foot. The depth of the asphalt is 2 inches estimated. The amount of the asphalt that can be laid per hour, 840, um, 80 tons and 8.80 and 46 tons per hour. The planning I'm um, planning estimating the amount of hot mix asphalt laid per hour. You are able to tell the asphalt plant exactly how much hot mix asphalt is required to deliver per hour per day. All right, um, 647 show the uh, cutoff shoes. Cutoff shoe right there. Cutoff shoe installed. Maintenance and important equipment operators responsible for the coordinating the proper operation can adjust the cleaning and the preservation, lubricating of the paving, and the supporting equipment, including the daily inspection adjustment, good for good, required for good operation malfunctions and the equipment, which go beyond the operating adjusting performed. The equipment by the equipment operator should be referred to as a field mechanic corrective action. They should not release you from work in the field mechanic unless you are direct, um, directed otherwise. Hard paving and safety. The construction of the bitumen material involved with the safety and several hazards. One of the most serious dangers associated with the heating or converted with the solid, semi-solid um, material the degree of the fluidity with the permit of the application mixing the safety measure for the mixing. Sure, the fire extinguisher equipped the foam type that prevents all types all type times. When ready for the when ready re reading the reading the distributor of the asphalt kettle, be sure the level position before heating the air ever located with several safe distance with the building other flammable materials. Keep cover during the heating period to prevent the escape of the flammable vapors. So avoid exposure to the fumes and the hot bitumen materials um, I say that um, on wine, wine, word, wine word side with weird gloves and full body clothing to avoid prolonged skin contact with the burning bitumen material. Heat bitumen materials are spraying with the purpose to check for the temperature suggested in table 16.2 for the type of the grave with the exposure with the gear. Um, remember that most of the flush points succeed with them before the material rests reaches the spraying working temperature. Therefore, additional coordination must be exercised to prevent the exposure of the raising of the fumes to an open flame. The dense yellow color of vapor rising from the distributor of the kettle indicates the material is being overtated to the extent the small spark is sufficient to ignite vapors. 
All right, allow exting always extinguish the burner before spraying with the bitumen material. But um, when the burn spraying is standing at least 15 feet clear of the spray bar, one bitumen distributor spray bars have been known to blow up or blow open and rip the sudden pressure for the heated materials. Remember, the bitumen material must be heated to a high temperature, and any, and any of the materials causing contact with the skin will leave serious burn. When handling asphalt being processed, the must be protective the um, protective apparel. We wear loose clothing with good condition. Wear heavy wear loose heavy clothing with good condition. Clothing should be clothes of the neck sleeve should be rolled down over the top of the gloves. You should wear um, cloudless trousers. With extended wear down with the open top over the top of the safety shoe with goggles should be way warm, prevent eye burn for the bubbling of the spraying asphalt. In addition, you should wear a safety hard hat. Frequent bitumen operations are often planned with the roads that carry, marry, most carry traffic while work in progress. Solar caution signals are often warning devices. Conspicuous play for the both 100 and 200, 100 yards and 200 yards from the entrance of the project. Flagmen dressed in safety vests and some other safety attire should be a, aid the traffic control. Most airfields must remain operational during the bitumen action. The control schedule of equipment ranging with the maximum heat of the equipment should be discussed with the air filter. Airfield safety officer liaison and air control must be established for the trucks and equipment for the cross runways in use. Machinery and mechanized equipment must be operated with the qualified or authorized personnel must not be operated in a manner that will endanger personal property. The safety operations being loaded with the not exceed with the equipment requiring the operator to be not permitted to run unintended with the mismount, mounting and dismounting equipment while it's on motion and riding on the equipment by unauthorized personnel is prohibited. All equipment using fuel and must be shut down with ignition before or during the refueling operations. While paving, when paving the equipment is being operated, the frequent inspection running the mechanism the attachment the operator responsible for the operator is allowed with the responsible inspection such items the power train, power plant, transmission track, control guards, loading, unloading, warning devices, receiving the hoppers. When paving materials are being applied with the crew's member that become occupied with a particular job, then where the equipment operating near the near them, from this reason, at least one crew member should be designated with the safety inspector to ensure that reasonable precautions are observed with the assigned working areas. In addition, safety inspectors should be periodically hold the short, approximately 5 to 15 minutes of safety meetings, uh, meetings called the stand-up safety meetings during the inspector brief of the crews on the hazardous precautions related to current work. All hand tools used for the paving purposes must be in good, keeping the good care with the um, good repair used for the purpose of the which of their design when using hand tools such as rakes and shovels loose with the hand tampered with asphalt job of the tools have the heated before you the cleaning immediately after you the common practice for the hand tools burning and off the bed men collected during the pavement operation crew members should exercise with the caution to be foreign war one of the flames are not visible on purpose and should stand fire extinguisher capable of patrolling petroleum. Oh really? Right. <laughs> Control petroleum fire. Okay. In some areas, all right, all roads, cleaning asphalt equipment can damage environmental, especially important that are stream waterways nearby that can be contaminated. Supervisor crew members should be advised of the fire start of the job if there's an environmental consideration on the site. Dispose of the contaminated rags, waste material, and the environmental responsible manner. All personnel should be insert, ins instructed to report immediately in personal injuries. All property were damaged regardless of how the minor reports should be properly and prepared accordingly. Instructions set forth in the base command com command publications. And then it goes in the appendixes. We don't do appendixes on my channel. <laughs>